Let's take a look at the money questions. Now all of these are non-calculator with the exception of questions 7 and 8. So here we're converting pounds into pence. We know that one pound equals 100 pence. So to go from pounds into pence, we're multiplying by 100. So all we need to do is multiply two by 100, but probably the easiest thing to do is if we just get rid of the decimal point, we've got the amount um, in pence, so 200 pence. One pound 29, 129 pence. One pound nine, 109 pence. Um, zero pounds and 24 pence is simply 24 pence and 3168 is 3,168 pence. Nine pounds 50 is 950p, 344 is 344p. This is 112999 pence, 1,287 pence, 7,195 pence. So no real problems with question one, hopefully. Here we're converting pence into pounds. So um, one pound is 100 pence. So to go from pounds to pence, we're multiplying by 100. So therefore, if we're going pence into pounds, we're dividing by 100. So what is 54 divided by 100? If you're struggling with this, write it as 54.0. Put some zeros in front if you like. We, If we're dividing by 100, we need to make the number smaller. So we're going to move the decimal point to the left. And because there's two zeros in 100, we're going to move it two positions to the left. So one, two. So the answer will now be 0, 0, 0.540. That zero on the end isn't doing anything. Neither is the zero at the front. So that becomes 0 pounds and 54p. 112p, 112 divided by 100. Write it's 112.0. Move the decimal point one, two. That becomes one pound 12. So 90, if 54 pence is 0 0.54, then 99 is going to be 0 0.99. And be careful with 3 pence. 3, let's write it as 3.0. Put some zeros to the left. Move the decimal point two positions. 1, 2. So 0, 0, 0, 0 0.030. 0. Oh, well, that 0 on the end is not doing anything. And hopefully you realise those two zeros don't need to be written. So there's our answer, 0 0.03. 3551 divided by 100, again 3551.0, move the decimal point two positions, so that's 35 pounds 51. 66p, let's write it as 66.0 with some zeros in front, one, two, so that becomes zero pounds 66p. 4000 is 4000.0, move the decimal point two positions, so that is 40 pounds or 40.00 if you want to include the pence as well. 108 is 108.0, move the decimal point one, two to the left, that becomes one pound zero eight. 236 is 236.0, two positions to the left, so that is two pounds 36. And obviously just following the same pattern, we're gonna get nine pounds 71 for J there. To the nearest pound, one pound 15 is between one pound and two pounds. And because 15 pence is less than 50, that's closer to one pound than two pounds. 344 is between three pounds and four pounds. 44 pence is less than 50, so we'll round down to three pounds. Two pounds 76 is between two pounds and three pounds. 76p is greater than 50, so we'll round up to three pounds. 1350 is between 13 pounds and 14 pounds. Now, 50 pence is exactly halfway between, so when it's halfway between, we will round up to 14 pounds. 2249 is between 22, and 23, 49 is less than 50, so we'll round down to 22. 55 pence is between zero pounds and one pound. 55 pence is greater than 50, so we'll round up to a pound. 84 pence is between zero and one pound, but it's closer to a pound because it's greater than 50p, so we'll round up to a pound. 130.08, that's between 130 pounds and 131 pounds. Now 8p is less than 50, so we're going to round down to 130. 12 pence is between zero pounds and one pound. Um, as 12 pence is less than 50 pence, we're going to round down. So to the nearest pound, that is zero pounds. 332 pence. Well, first of all, let's turn that into three pounds 32. So that's between three pounds and four pounds. 32 pence is less than 52, sorry, is less than 50 pence. So that will round down to three pounds. 
In question number four to the nearest 10p, well 33p is between 30p and 40p. Since 33 is less than 35, the halfway point here, then we'll round down to 30. 62p is between 60 and 70 pence. 62 is less than 65, which is the halfway point between 60 and 70, so we'll round down to 60. 88p is between 80 and 90. And 88 pence is greater than 85, which is the midpoint, so we'll round up to 90. 135 is between 130 and 140. Now 135 is exactly halfway between 130 and 140, so therefore we will round up. We always round up if it's halfway between. 34 pence is between 30 and 40. Since 34 is less than 35, which is the midpoint, then we'll round down to 30p. One pound and three p, there that is between uh, one pound and one pound ten. And since one pound three is less than one pound five, which is the midpoint there, we'll round down to a pound. One forty nine is between one pound forty and one pound fifty. It's clearly closer to one fifty than one forty, so we'll round it up. Three hundred twenty eight p. We'll we'll write that first of all as three pounds twenty eight. That's between £3.20 and £3.30. So to the nearest 10p, that's going to be rounded to 3.30 because 28 is closer to 30 than it is to 20. £19.41 is between £19.40 and £19.50. And it will round down to £19.40 because 41 pence is closer to 40 than it is to 50. 59p is between 50 pence and 60 pence. It's clearly closer to 60 than 50, so we'll round it up to 60p. So, question five, we're still not allowed to use a calculator here. So, Katerina buys chocolate buttons, that's £1.19, and strawberry laces, 0 0.79. So, all we need to do is just add these together. So, £1.19, 0 0.79. Make sure the decimal points are in line, shouldn't be a problem. 9 plus 9 is 18, carry 1. 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9, 1 plus 0. Um, is one, so that's a total of one pound ninety-eight p. Francesca buys um, a pink mice, so that's ninety-nine p, and a fudge, which is one pound seventy-nine. So again, let's just do a nice column method. So one seventy-nine zero nine point uh, nine nine. To be honest, what I would do here is call that a pound. That is one pence less than a pound. So add a full pound on to make two seventy-nine, and then subtract that um, that penny so that's going to be two pound seventy eight or alternatively nine plus nine eighteen eight carry the one nine plus one is ten plus seven is seventeen carry the one you're still going to get two pound seventy eight there strawberry laces that's seventy nine p and licorice one pound forty nine so again let's just do a little column here one forty nine zero point seven nine don't forget the decimal point in the answer here. 9 plus 9 is 18, carry 1. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 1 is 12, carry the 1. So that's going to be £2.28p. And, and for chocolate buttons and fudge, that's going to be £1.19 plus £1.79. So again, let's use a column here, 119, 1.79. Don't forget the decimal point in the answer box. 9 plus 9 is 18, 8, carry the 1. 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9. 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's going to be £2.98. And chocolate buttons and licorice, that's going to be £1.19 plus £1.49. So again, let's just use um, a column method here. 119, 149, decimal point in line. 9 plus 9 is 18, 8 carry the 1. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus 1 is 2. So that comes to a total of £2.68. Question number six, how much change would each of these people get if they paid with a £10 note? So what we need to do is just subtract these amounts from £10. You could use the column method, so 10.00 minus £7.50. That's going to be a bit challenging because of all the zeros up top here. We, that is going to result in us having to do a lot of borrowing. So what I tend to do is um, use some stepping stones. So we're looking for the difference between 750 and 10. So what I'm going to do is just use some nicer numbers on the way between 750 and 10, for example, eight, the next whole pound. So 750 to eight pounds, it's a difference of 50p. The difference between eight pounds and 10 pounds is two pounds. 
So therefore the overall difference is these two amounts added together, £2.50, although probably that was fairly obvious, hopefully. So £2.39 and £10. First of all, I'm going to use £2.40. Again, getting closer to 10 and then £3, closer still to 10. 239 to 240, that's a difference of 1p. £2.40 to £3, that's a difference of 60p. And £3 to £10 is £7. So the overall difference is going to be these combined together, £7.61. Here we've got £5.23, so I'll use £5.30, £6 on my way to the 10. £5.23 to £5.30, that's 7p. £5.30 to £6 is 70p. £6 to £10 is £4. So in total, £4 plus 70 plus 7, £4 and 77 change. So uh, we're not allowed, oh no, we are allowed to use a calculator for question 7. So all we need to do is multiply 29 times 38 pence because this price is in pence. Our answer will be in pence as well. So that's 1102. And if you want to turn that into pounds, we need to divide it by 100, which you can do on the calculator or just put a decimal point between the 1 and the 0, 11 pounds 2p. Performing a suitable check, uh, well, we've used a calculator, so I don't really see why we need to do a check. But uh, what we can do here is if this multiplied by this gives us this, then 11 pounds, zero, 11 pounds and 2p divided by 38 should give us 29 or 11 pounds 02 divided by 29 should give us 38. I guess it's just recognizing that division and multiplication are opposite functions. Question number eight, if nine magnets cost 1998, then one magnet is gonna be 1998 divided by nine, and that works out at two pounds 22. And again, the check, again, fairly pointless really, but two pounds 22 multiplied by nine, that should give us 19 pounds 98, and of course it does. So question nine, we're back to uh, not using a calculator. So two bags of flour at two pounds 10 each, that comes to four pounds 20. Carton of eggs is three pounds nine P. Three lots of 75 P. You might wanna use a long multiplication method there. Three times five is 15, carry the one. Three sevens are 21, plus one is 22. This is in pence, so let's turn it into pounds because the other amounts are in pounds as well. And let's just add these up. Nine plus five is 14, carry one. Two plus two plus one is five. Four plus three is seven, eight, nine. So in total, nine pounds 54. How much change from a 20 pound note? Again, let's just use that method uh, that I showed you for, I think it was um, question six. Um, so 9.54, 9.60, 10 pounds, 20 pounds. So I'm just finding nice whole numbers between nine pounds 50 and 20 pounds. So 954 to nine pounds 60, that's a gap of 6p. 960 to 10 pounds, that's a gap of 40 pence. And 10 pounds to 20 pounds is a gap of 10 pounds. So that's an overall difference of 10 pounds 46. So eight pound 36, that it, so we're rounding these to the nearest pound. So eight pound 36 is between eight pounds and nine pounds because 36 pence is less than, less than 50p, that will round down to eight pounds. For Josephine, that's between 22 and 23. 12 pence is less than 50p, which is the halfway point between 22 and 23 pounds, so we'll round that one down to 22. 33.95 is between 33 and 34, and 95p is greater than uh, 50p, I think it's fairly obvious that 95p is um, much closer to the next pound up than the pound before that, so that will round up to £34. And to the nearest 10p, £8.36 is between £8.30 and £8.40. And because here we 6 is greater than 5, therefore we will round up to £8.40, 5 being the uh, halfway point between um, or £8.35 being the halfway point between £8.30 and £8.40. Uh, for Josephine, 22.12, so that's between 22.10 and 22.20. And the halfway point is going to be £22.15, and 22.12 is less than 
£22.15, so that will round down to £22.10p. And £33.95, that is between uh, £33.90 and £34.90 exactly. Now halfway between these amounts is £33.95 and the amount Elijah spends is exactly this figure here. Now when it's exactly halfway between we're going to round up so that will round up to £34. So question number um, 11 uh, we need to um, estimate so that means we're not using a calculator so what we'll do we'll call the materials £600 for the labour, we'll just call that 2,400, and that's a that's a good number because 600 um, added to 2,400 that makes a nice 3,000 pounds. And 406, we'll just round that down to 400 as well. Um, so, um, six, okay, here's an easier way: 600 plus 400 is 1,000. 1,000 plus 2,400 comes to total of 3,400 pounds.